Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a progress bar for your game. Now I've already done everything so I'm just I'm easily going to walk you through um, every step um, and show you what I've done um, just so that we can get through it and I don't make any mistakes and stuff like that. It's fairly easy. Um, now I'm going to hit preview here and you'll see I have this green dot right here and this is my progress bar so when I get to the end of this bar I should be at the end of the scene so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna jump over these things if I stop it stops if I go back it goes back and now I'm at the end of the scene and I'm at the end of the bar and I can go back so it just gives the user an idea of how much further they have to go before they're at the end of the the level. I'll go to the other end again. Okay, so like I say, it's it, it's it's fairly basic. Um, so I have my black bar here, and um, if I click on it, um, you'll see the width is 200. Now you can make the width whatever you want. I like 200, so that's what I used. And then my little green square here, I made. Um, 12 by 12. It's just a little box. Now the first things we need to do is um, create uh, three attributes, all real attributes. And the first one will be players X. The second one will be players size, or sorry, scene size, and then bar size. Now my bar is 200. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll take a drink. Okay. So my bar is 200 pixels wide, so I keyed in here 200 pixels. And my scene is 2400 pixels wide, so I keyed in 2400 pixels. And you can put whatever you want in there. Um, this stuff will do the math for you once these are in. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your um, player. And you're going to add a uh, constraint attribute here. And you're going to constrain game players x that's that attribute you just made to self position x and what that do that's going to do is keep track of where the player is now in your black bar here you don't need any rules you just want to make sure that it's the size that you designated and then you're going to make your progress actor and you're going to put it right um, at the edge of where you want it in the black bar and what you want to do is you want to constrain self position X so the X of this actor to and this is where the math is now I have 20 plus and the reason why I have 20 plus is because I'll show you it starts 20 pixels in um, so wherever you have this if you have it down here you're gonna to want to start it um, you use what it, so if you're over here you'll probably be you know um, uh, I don't know 160 um, so you're going to find out where this actor is, and mine's 20 pixels in, so I'm using 20. So it's going to be 20 plus open bracket game.playersx divided by open bracket game.screensize divided by game.barsize close bracket, close bracket. Um, so this will basically do all the math to keep this actor in, relative to where the player is on the big size screen. And that is it. That's all you need. Hit back, press preview, and when the actor moves, that actor up there will move also relative to where the player is. Head on over to gshelper.com and you can download this project file absolutely free. And um, another cool thing with this file, even if you don't need the progress bar, it has a perfect left and right movement, a perfect double jump, and it even has a crouch. Now I'm going to head over here and just show you one thing. If you don't want a double jump, just turn, um, go in here, go into the player, and um, how many jumps? I have two. You can set that to one so it can't double jump anymore. Oh, actually it can. Let me go back here. I have a rule in here. Uh, where is it? Jump rules. Uh, 
jump to two, change that to one. And now it can no longer double jump. Once it hits one of these, it can jump again, but in the air, it can't double jump. So I hope that helps. And uh, again, head on over to gshelper.com, download this file, and I'll see you guys in the next video.